hey guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to be doing a simple assembly of this floral wall backdrop now this item is actually from ikea and at the time it actually was discontinued so i'm not sure if you can still be able to purchase it but the links is in the description below for this setup, we're actually going to be using two of our kits, one which is the Posh Basic Kit that goes from 6 to 10 feet high, and then the other which is the Mobile Kit that goes from 4 feet to 10 feet high. Then for the back layer, we're going to be using some velvet, some crushed velvet. Now this is like, um, the color wasn't... <laughs> I would say it's like a plum or an eggplant. It's not necessarily purple, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's kind of softer than purple. So I would say it's like an eggplant mix uh, with plum. Okay guys, so now we are about to start threading our backdrop with the velvet fabric. And I'm only using four panels just because it's going to just act as um, like an accent piece, just kind of a pop of color behind the backdrop. One thing you can really do to make this backdrop look amazing is maybe do like a balloon garland or something like that, or possibly some of the cylinder um, stands. They will look really amazing as well. Okay, so now I'm going to roll out the floral um, panel and this came when I purchased it in two complete panels, like side by side. So I don't know how it would come otherwise. The tag actually said 10 by 10, but this wasn't uh, in the size 10 by 10. So any loose ends, I just kind of continuously snap them together. They primarily came um, in squares the size of two by two, like two feet by two feet. Um, but when I normally roll mine up, I just kind of keep them together and just roll it since it's real flexible. So I don't have to keep uh, pressing them together because it can become a pain.
here is where I'm going to place my crossbar along the edge of the top of the uh, floral wall. Now you do want to definitely keep about two to three inches above um, the crossbar so you don't see the actual bar once you go to hang it. So I'm just taking my pipe cleaners and I'm actually securing it to the floral wall and I'm making sure that I'm not putting it close to the edge just so I wouldn't see it. Now I'm taking a pipe clean and placing it about um, about every foot or so just so you don't have any gaps but you want to just make sure that it's secure. Now that it's all secure to the floral wall that your, your crossbar is, now it's time to just lift it and attach it to your uprights. Now that you have it actually on the upright, you're going to secure it even more by tying a pipe cleaner to the upright from the floral wall. So you just want to make sure that you're securing it to the slot that's on either in the back or on the side, but be sure that it's not showing. Then you just want to take some extra pipe cleaners and secure, um, you know, secure the wall to your upright about I would say about every two feet the way your bases should be you should be actually utilizing your outer hole so you don't have the bases kind of showing in the front. If you use your middle hole, you will be able to see the base sticking out of the front. So I normally would just put all of the base in the back so no one would see it. But then you also got to be mindful that if you don't have the bases centered, that more weight is being distributed to the front. So just to be safe, you always should be using something for extra weight. This here I'm using is a um, weighted base. You can use different things. You can use uh, sandbags, you could use water jugs, you can use paint cans. I wouldn't suggest you to do that though, but just make sure you secure some extra weight on back of the base. So once you're pretty much done securing everything and getting everything up, you just want to go back and make sure everything is kind of secure. Add some extra um, pipe cleaners, if you will, to the bottom so that you don't have your um, floor wall kind of like, you know, peeking. You, you don't want it to shift. So just want to definitely secure all four corners. That's two at the top, which is your uprights. And then secure your floor wall to the two uh uprights at the bottom close to the base and then you're completely done So thank you guys for watching my channel. If it's something specific you guys would like to see, don't forget to let me know in the comments so I can be sure to get it on the schedule. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because if you don't, you will not be notified when the next video uploads. And I would hate for you guys to miss out. So until then, see you, stay tuned, be blessed.